Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be diving into Astral Sorcery. All right, guys, so I know I've been con for, let's say, three days now. We went on vacation. Um, had a lot of fun. Um, went to Nashville, uh, did quite a bit of stuff there. Um, if you don't know about that place, it is called the Music City um, here in, uh, it was actually in Tennessee. So, um, Really fun, really fun, had a lot of fun. But uh, today we're going to go ahead and uh, get back into Minecraft. And uh, we're going to be go ahead and uh, we're going to work on Astral Sorcery today. I think that's going to be a good place for me to uh, get started. We do have a vi uh, villager in here. He's uh, kind of helping. I don't know why he's got a heart missing. Um, but oh well. I'm actually looking for my Astral Sorcery. Oh, it's in my, it's in my hand. Um, here's my Astral Sorcery journal. I think we kind of peered into this um, a little bit. Um, but... We kind of need to get started. We need to make this um, resonating wand. Um, it's kind of our first step. So you need to follow these lines. So right here, it's going to tell you, you need to find an ancient shrine. Um, it's going to tell you kind of what they look like and where to find them in the world. And uh, you're going to find those little shrines. Let me go ahead and get um, get this guy charged up real quick. But you're going to find these little shrines. Um, and they're going to be kind of scattered all over the place. And uh, those little shrines are going to actually um, contain a chest. And in those chests, you're going to find some pages. And you're also going to find um, some of this stuff, aquamarine. Um, aquamarine is also found um, in sand underwater. Um, so that's some stuff that you're actually going to need. Um, but if we look at our journal, let's go back. And uh, we'll take a look at how this wand's made. Um, I want to show you how to get that. We need to find an ender pearl. So I'm going to have to kill an enderman. That's going to be fun, of course. Um, and then we're going to need some kind of marble, which I'm pretty sure we have marble. So I think that's where we stopped last time, is when I needed an ender pearl. And actually, I don't know if there's any way... Somebody said I threw away a bunch of ender pearls, but uh, I don't know how I did that, but I might have. Um, ender dust, of course you get that from ender pearl. Um, I said I know getting them from mobs, that's something that you can of course do. Find them in chests, um, of course. In stone, looks like it can be converted. That's probably about it. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm just going to have to wait till um, it gets dark. I don't know how long I have to wait, but I'm going to wait a little bit till it gets dark out. And then we're going to go Enderman hunting. Okay, so I did find an Enderman. I don't exactly... Oh, I found a whole bunch of Endermen. Uh, I don't know if these are actually Endermen. I don't know if they give Ender Pearls. These are probably coming from the defiled lands. Ooh, they're not teleporting to me. I'm kind of confused at what they are, really. They're giving some kind of shards. Okay, so they gave us... Oh, black hearts from Defiled Lands. They sound like Endermen, though. I wish they would give me Ender Pearls. Ow, that's like a Defiled Spider. Oh, it looked like it gave me blindness for a split second. Alright, I think I need to get out of here. I think these are spawning from this thing. You know what would be really nice? An Enderman spawner inside one of those buildings. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just a... Yeah, this is like some kind of biome that's part of a mod in this pack. I'm not too familiar with it, so I can't really say much about it, but uh, I'm sure I'll have to learn something about it, because I'm pretty sure there's like a, uh, a whole section to it. Um, but yeah, I've just been kind of roaming around, looking, hopefully uh, an Enderman would spawn. None has, so I'll be back whenever I find something other than those uh, defiled guys. Alright, so I believe I found an Enderman. Also, there is... Wow. I bet, I bet that's from Roots. I don't know, though. But yeah, I do see an Enderman on my minimap. I hope it's not underground. What are these guys? They're so pretty. Nice. Oh, there's a couple of Endermen. Alright, let me... Okay, no Ender Pearl, I don't think. Let's not die. No Ender Pearl, for real? No Ender Pearl. Okay, Creeper. Oh boy. That's rough. Okay, so more, uh, I'm gonna have to look for some more Endermen. Alright, so I found a group of them. Hopefully this time I get something. Let's... Oh, he took the... He took the log. What a knucklehead. Please give me Ender Pearl. All I want is one. Oh, wait, I'm about to die, ain't I? Um... 
Alright. Come on. Ender Pearl, please. Thank you. So one Ender Pearl out of all of that work. Please give me some more Ender Pearls. Because this is going to be really painful. Oh, man. I'm sure there's a way to make a spawner, hopefully. Or a sp you could probably change the spawner. Yeah. So two Ender Pearls out of all of that work. Okay. So finally killed the uh, couple of Endermen. Um, no big deal. Uh, but after dying, of course, I did die. That was not fun. Um, but I do need to go ahead and get everything we need. Um, I only got two Ender Pearls. I think I killed like six Endermen, six or something. I don't remember. Um, but only two Ender Pearls out of all of those Endermen. That's not that's not cool. Uh, those Endermen are being very stingy over their Ender Pearls. Um, but we need to, uh, like I said, uh, we need to get a crafting table. We need the uh, one Ender Pearl. We need two of these Aquamarine. And we're also going to need marble, but we don't have access to marble yet. We have to go get that here in a minute. Now, um, speaking of marble, let's go back. And uh, we're going to need to learn how to make the Luminous Crafting Table as well, because we can probably do all of these at once. Um, we need sooty marble, which is going to require mar marble and that. So, it uh, looks like all of this stuff we can get, because it's going to have marble in the, the place we're fixing to go. Um, and then we need to bring some coal with us. So, let's grab some coal. I'll do five, just in case. Um, I don't think we need five, but I have it. And I think that's all we need, actually. Um, we need another crafting table, so probably some wood would be nice. So, we're going to need two crafting tables in all. And this is going to get us started with uh, this whole mod, Astral Sorcery. And, uh, of course, doing it at night is what we're going to want to do. Um, I don't know if this has to be done at night. It just needs to be done up there. And this is going to be a fun journey without a slingshot. Ow. Yeah. And with mobs like the skeleton, that won't leave me alone. Please stop. He's going to knock me off. This is... I hate skeletons. Skeletons are like the worst thing. You think creepers are bad? No, skeletons. They're they're the they're the ones that give you trouble. That knockback is really painful. Okay, so up here we have a astral sorcery temple. And this is like one of the main temples as well. This is the big boy. The big guy. Okay, so we have chiseled marble up here. I'll take all of that. And there's regular marble here. And we can take all of this marble, because this marble, there's no chests or anything right here. And this de defiling this structure really does not change the way this mod works, so you can do this all you want. All day long, it's not going to cause any issues. Um, taking, like, these brick here, all these pillars, eventually you're going to have to knock this whole top off anyway, so... Um, I mean, if that's something you want to do. Right here, all this marble, yeah, you can take it. It's not a big deal. Um, and we're going to need it, so... Taking this marble, you want to do that. And we also need it to kind of punch a hole anyways into the side so we can kind of get to the bottom. Um, we can leave the water here for now. It's not a big deal. But I'm going to take all of this and we're kind of dig ourselves a little hole into this. And inside, you will find some water, chest. It's not very bright in here, so let's add some torches. You'll find a couple of chests that could possibly... Oh, that had an Ender Pearl in it. Sweet. So, yeah, you might actually find an Ender Pearl. Look at that. We found Glowstone, Diamond, and a Constellation Paper that we don't actually need. Um, and you see all this water. Now, you can leave the water if you want. Um, we're going to take a chest. Or, no, I keep calling them a chest. Crafting table. <laughs> Place that down. You're going to see some particle effects going straight down to this. So now, uh, with this floating crystal here... We can now craft ourselves a wand. And we're going to need that ender pearl, and we're going to need that two marble. Doesn't matter what kind, just marble. And you can make a resonating wand. Resonating wand complete. Um, now, it did say in the book we need to make sooty marble. To make sooty marble, it is coal. Surrounded by marble gives you sooty marble. Um, let's take a look at our book again. We're going to need any type of marble, crafting table, and sooty marble. So, any type of marble, crafting table, and one piece of sooty marble. That'll give us a luminous crafting table. That is our first steps, and we're going to unlock exploration. 
And exploration or exploration is going to tell us a little bit about a few things that we're going to need. We're going to get started with making light well. And to get a light well, we need rock crystals. But we can't find rock crystals yet. Um, that's because we're going to need a few things. Um, let's go back to our other section, which is discovery. And um, with discovery, with the luminous crafting table, we're going to need to make a, another kind. Or Actually, no, the resonating one shows us. I keep forgetting. Um, the resonating one, when it's nighttime, which is not right now, so it's going to be kind of hard to demonstrate. Um, but when you're holding the uh, resonating wand, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, in just a sec. All right. So, like I was saying, um, if you hold this wand in your hand, you're going to see some particle effects. Um, if you see this stuff, that means there is a crystal down below. Pretty neat. Um, so what you can do, and it's pretty accurate, so um, it's showing the particle effects coming from right here. So, I mean, you can pretty much mine straight down. Don't recommend mining straight down, because you know what happens when you do that. If you hear lava, you might want to get out of dodge. Um, but, I mean, you can, of course, do the whole two-step, which is probably going to be the best bet. Like, after you get to a certain point, um, you're going to have to, of course, bring yourself back up. And the best way to do that without a slingshot is going to be to ride up. Um, but whenever I get straight down, I'll show you what you're going to find. Okay, so I kind of broke it. Uh, I was kind of looking for it. But uh, you break these crystals, and uh, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see these shiny things. Um, there was really only one, I think. And you're going to get these rock crystals from Astral Sorcery. And each one has... Uh, each one will have a different size, they'll have a different purity, a different cutting, um, all different things, but we're going to need those. We're going to need quite a few of those, actually, um, to get started. I'm just going to collect some of these materials we got around us. Um, but yeah, um, that's kind of how we're going to get started, and I think we can already pretty much move on to the next one. I'm going to collect a few more of those crystals, and then I'll be back. All right, so after you've collected quite a few of these rock crystals, we should be ready to go. We'll take this uh, luminous crafting table, and uh, hopefully we have enough rock crystals to last a little while. Each one of these have a different stat on them. Um, you just have to go around collecting them, digging holes, real fun. Um, but uh, you'll get through it. Um, now, we need to go ahead and move on to the next step. And the next step is going to be coming out of this section, out of, out of discovery, moving on into exploration. And exploration is where we're going to continue for just a little bit. Um, we're going to work towards a sky resonator. As you can see, everything comes from this light well. And uh, to get a sky resonator, we're going to need a bucket of liquid starlight. And to do that, we need a light well. But a light well requires these crystals, these uh, ruined marbles. And this is made in, I think, a regular... Uh, it says starlight require luminous crafting table. Not much. Okay. So yeah, you make this inside that luminous crafting table. Um, that we just had. Um, we're going to need to find somewhere, though, to place it to put um, get some starlight in it. Um, anywhere, really, uh, that's under the, the skylight is probably going to be fine. So, um, uh, let's see. We'll place it on over here next to all of our other good stuff. This guy right here. Oh, plenty of starlight. This whole thing's pretty much full. This is a, probably a pretty nice area here. Um, but we're going to need to go ahead and make this thing. Uh, what do we need? We need Ruined Marble, which is a special kind, which it looks like it takes um, any kind of marble, slide it, a slid like that to make the marble arches. Uh, we need this guy, though. So we need Chiseled Marble to get that. I think Chiseled Marble, if I remember correctly, we'll have to look. We'll look up the recipe. Uh, but we need Regular Marble, and I put everything inside this nice chest. I did have some Regular Marble on me, I thought. Did I place it somewhere? I probably did. I, oh, I put it in here. Okay. So yeah, we're going to need all of this. Let's get... Marble. We need ruined marble. Chiseled marble. Okay, it's a luminous crafting recipe. Or does show you can make it with chisel. Um, okay, I'll stick to the luminous crafting way. Um, you're going to need this resonating wand to activate these things. So let's do two. And you see you'll get chiseled. And then you tap it with that, and that's going to cause it to activate. And then it should, when it's done, pop out. Oh, and we got a little flare. 
Uh, these flares, you can kind of push them around. And they're just, you know, happy little entities. Um, nothing really special. Um, but they just look really neat. And uh, they're fun to play with. So, if that's something you're into, bam. You got a little friend. And I think you can hurt them. Yeah, when you hit them, they just blow up. No big deal. <laughs> you're just killing these little fellows. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're harmless. They're not going to cause any problems. Um, but okay. So, follow the book. Um, we're going to need two chiseled. And we're going to need three of these ruin marbles. Each one of those requiring chiseled. Or requiring that. So, uh, we need three of those. Correct. Okay, that gives us the marble arches. What am I doing wrong? This requires uh, brick. Is that correct? What is this? Oh, it requires it in luminous crafting. So we need accept any marble stone. So yeah, let's take that out. Let's pop it into here. And we're going to need three of those. Oh, it gives us three anyways. So we'll just do... Well, we'll need them. We'll need them. So let's go ahead and just make them. It should do all three at once, uh, provided that we have enough starlight, in that, which I think we do. So bam, there's all of that we need. Um, now, we should be able to move on to the next place. We need a rock crystal and three of those aquamarines. So one rock crystal, doesn't really matter for me right now. Two of those, and I think we should be good to rock and roll. Okay, let's see if I can remember the recipe. Bam, bam, bam. Not like that. Rock crystal. Two aquamarines. Bam, ready to go. Let's make this guy. And this is, I think, requires starlight to get started, but uh, we have this done. So we just place that bad boy down. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another rock crystal. And you can put aquamarine in there, but um, if you have a spare amount of, uh, of these bad boys, just throw them in there. They're going to produce quite a bit of the uh, liquid starlight, and it does require... It to have access to the sky for it to work I'm pretty sure um, but unfortunately there's not a way for me to see but I'm pretty sure it holds about two buckets of the stuff so if you can kind of judge um, about when it gets halfway you can you should be able to pull a bucket out of it and uh, that's when we're gonna actually try and make this guy let's move on to the next step this one right here the sky wave resonator it requires gold marble aquamarine and it requires not much starlight um, so, pretty simple, but we need a bucket of starlight. So, let me grab one bucket. I guess I'll just make a new one. Lovely. A bucket, and hopefully we can get enough of this to get it done before it becomes daylight. Probably not. Nope, not even close yet. We're about halfway, I think. Uh, when it gets to, like, this line right here, then I think it should be about ready. But yeah, liquid starlight light is really nice. It's actually a liquid that emits light, of course, given the name. Um, it spreads really fast, so you can pour it over an edge of something and it'll spread really fast. Or, um, it all, er, and it also gives you night vision, so... Ah, there we go. A bucket of liquid starlight. Um, so yeah, hopefully we have enough time. Let's go ahead and check. Uh, our starlight's going to run out on us pretty quickly. Um, we need one of that piece of gold... And we should be ready to rock and roll. Okay. Hopefully we have enough of this. Um, that way we don't have to worry about it. Uh, and two of those. Bam. And we should have enough nighttime left to give us what we need. Sweet. So when holding this guy, you'll find dark patches. Um, that's what we're looking for. It's going to be kind of hard to see... Um, with it being almost daylight out. But if we could almost get on top of a building... Man, it'd, it'd be hard to find one, but... There's probably one close by. I really don't have to walk very far to get this... to work, but it's becoming daylight, so... we're not gonna be able to see it. But, um, what it will do is create like a dark purplish looking colored patches on the ground, um, and it will basically be highly concentrated areas of starlight where we can put an altar, and it'll make a great place for an altar, but uh, 
uh, for this episode, I don't think we're going to be able to get to that. Um, we're probably pushing on time right now. I know I've kind of gotten through things quite fast, um, but uh, this is really early on um, in Astral Sorcery. And, uh, like, it, it talks about crystal growth and stuff, and you can read it in the book a little bit. Um, I do know quite a bit about this mod. I have done it before. Um, making some illumination powder will be fun if you guys want to do that. Um, you take this right here, and the illumination powder is basically a replacement for a torch. Um, and it's also used in other uh, crafting recipes, but um, it really does work well as a torch. You place it down, it doesn't look like a torch, it's just like a little floating entity, and it looks really nice. Um, it would probably work well in, in builds, but yeah, that's uh, that's about it for today. I don't think there's much more for me to cover in this episode. This is something uh, new um, to me. I don't exactly know what this does. It says the night harbors many dangers. All right, um, while those monsters uh, either avoid daylight, okay, to tell what this thing does. It creates this field that spawns mon monsters for a few seconds. Oh. All right, so it... Okay, it can only be active at a time in its general... Okay. So this pretty much spawns monsters. That's kind of cool. Um, so it needs average amount. Yeah. Like, that's all new stuff to me. Um, as you can see, our light well pretty much made two buckets worth. Pretty much. Uh, made, probably made a little less than a bucket, but it all depends on how big your crystal is as well. So, uh, just keep in mind all that stuff. I know we'll kind of push through Astral Sorcery pretty quick. Um, I really want... The reason I want to get into Astral Sorcery is because in our next tab, after we're completed um, with one of this, these sections, uh, we can get a Cave Illuminator. And the Cave Illuminator is so neat. Um, and it's going to make mob spawning... Uh, or make controlling mob spawns a lot easier. Uh, where we can possibly get a mob spawner made. So we can go ahead and uh, get loads of gun gun batter and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, the cave illuminator is really really neat. You place it on the ground. Uh, it's going to fill any cave in a rather large area, um, any spot below you. It's going to fill that with uh, any darkness with light, so that way mobs won't spawn. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, I'm definitely probably going to get into that next episode. Hopefully we can get there. Doesn't look like it's going to be too hard. We, we could have, but we ran out of uh, night time, so... I know, that's crazy to say in Minecraft. Who wants to play in the dark? But, you know, he he needs to get out of my stuff. This guy. Oh my gosh, this guy. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.